Hi, I'm Ben Canning. I'm going to be walking you through uh, our lectures for this unit. This starts off, uh, this red slide is a macro lecture, uh, which means it's kind of the big picture overview. This one's going to introduce our topic for this collection or this series of mini or micro lectures that we do. And there'll be one at the end that kind of sums it all up. These are going to be short, um, so please just kind of get used to that or keep that in mind. Uh, but in order for you to get full credit for this, you need to have the following products on the which are listed down here on the bottom. Uh, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a summary, which is one to two sentences talking about what this was about, and then you need to answer any follow-up questions, usually on a Google form, but sometimes they might be on paper or some other place. So let's go ahead and get started with this. This unit is gonna focus on uniform or uh, constant motion. And in this case, uh, this collection is gonna focus on the language. So we're gonna talk about motion in words and less with numbers and writing. So the big idea we're focusing on kind of moving towards over the course of a couple of units is how do we describe and predict the effects of pushes and pulls on the motion of something. So in this case what I mean is if we get a push from an engine such as this train right here, um, how do we predict how fast that uh, full train is going to go given how much the engine can push or pull. In order to kind of build up to that, we have to start with what our unit talks about, which is really just describing changes in motion. Um, and in order to do that, we need to kind of come to an agreement on common language or words to describe um, specifically constant motion. So this language needs to be able to describe it, define various things, as well as eventually quantify um, the different aspects of motion, such as where something is or how fast it's moving. Now, that's the focus of the unit. This specific collection is going to focus on speed and velocity, um, since they allow us to describe motion. And also, it's going to differentiate between those two. So while they're very similar, they are a little bit different. And in physics, they mean slightly different things. Um, so we're going to focus on what that difference is in terms of language and discussing it, not necessarily in terms of calculation. That's it for this uh, first introduction. So please do three bullet points worth of notes if you haven't done so already, a one to two sentence summary, and then answer the follow-up question on the Google form or on paper if your teacher has it do it there. Um, just so you know, any images that I use that aren't created by me are credited down here so you can look at them uh, if you need to. That's all. Thank you.